Okay, in this video we're going to do a rough sketch of the function f of x equals the quantity x plus 1 to the 4th minus 1. So the thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to think about some graph shifting. So x to the 4th, it looks a lot like x to the 2nd. It has that same u shape to it. So that's going to be the graph of x to the 4th. Well, the plus 1 inside of the parentheses, that's going to shift our graph of x to the 4th. It's going to shift the graph one unit left. So again, when it's in the parentheses, it's, I always remembered it's sort of the opposite, right? It feels like it should, you know, you see a positive 1, which makes you think to the right, but it actually goes one unit to the left. The negative 1 on the outside is going to have the effect of shifting the graph. It's going to shift one unit down. Okay, so if it's on the outside and you see a negative, hey, do go down. If it's a positive, do go up. So it's basically going to take our graph of x to the fourth, one unit to the left, one unit down. And again, if you're not sure, you can always plot points. That's one thing that I think people sometimes are, forget about doing. So instead of passing through the origin 0, 0, since it's one to the left and one down, it'll pass through the point negative 1, comma, negative 1. Notice if we plug in x equals 0, we'll get 1 to the 4th, which is 1, minus 1, we'll get 0. Likewise, at negative 2, by symmetry, it, it will equal 0. Notice if we plug in x equals 1, we would have 1 plus 1, which is 2. 2 to the 4th is going to be 16, minus 1. It says at, at x equals 1, we should actually already be way up here at y equals 15. So my graph... I'm going to make it get pretty steep uh, pretty quickly. And again, that's going to be just a rough sketch of our, of our new graph. The quantity x plus 1 to the 4th minus 1.